speak your mind even if your voice shakes and our guest would agree to that she has never been afraid to voice her opinions and that is one of the most inspiring qualities about her besides a ton of others welcome to baatein an kahi with suchitra krishnamurthy hello hi suchitra hi hi firstly thank you for doing this with us thank you for inviting me i have a small surprise for you there's someone who sent a sweet audio note for you okay and i would want you to hear it and i really want to see how you react okay it. sure sure hey 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 my dear dear dearest ashi this is dildar supari wala oh my god or case jari javed <laughs> well i prefer a two way conversation like in filhal ye voice note is sahi i hope you are super and been seeing some super work of yours going around or bhai tum to talented ho hi lekin beti bhi nikal padi hai super talented or wishing you all the very best dil se uh, aur baki talent to tumhara sahi raha lekin kitchen wala talent कभी वो भी दिखाने के लिए बुलाओ डिनर पे बैठेंगे गप मारेंगे बातचीत करेंगे कुछ यादें ताज़ा करेंगे एंड आई रियली लुक फॉर टू सीइंग यू विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट हैव अ सुपर सुपर डे अहेड एंड मिलते हैं इंशाल्लाह लॉस ऑफ लव बिग हार्ट हाउ स्वीट वेरी स्वीट या 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 आई ऑल इन टच सो जस्ट फॉर माय व्यूअर्स दिस इज सुचित्रा कश्मकश कोस्ता जावेद जाफरी यस And in fact, yeah, we are on and off in touch mainly via social media. Of course, his Eid parties are famous. So, yes. But obviously, lockdown we've not had it. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. one is in touch through that. And now our children are friends. Really? His son huh. and my daughter are friends, so they hang oh. and chill and party, you know. But you know, like I mentioned, uh, Kashma Kashi, you've done Chunauti in TV. And yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but you got your first TV offer when you were in college. Yeah. And I think your parents were against you becoming an actress, and you left the house bag in baggage, and then you uh, stayed outside. What gave you the confidence at that early age to do that? See, because I was so uh, passion driven always, hmm. and uh, the whole atmosphere at home was very kind of. Strict. It you had to be good at studies and nothing else mattered. Telugu had, Brahmin family. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. And you had to get high marks. Nothing else mattered. And but I was a talent hmm. from from you know when I was six years old. I was winning singing competitions and you know I was in inter school drama and debate and everything. So one thing led to another. I started singing jingles and all even in school. Hmm. I did one children's film. I think in the ninth standard. You know, one Raj Bhatia was working in our neighborhood. Me the so he used oh. to keep calling all of us huh. to sing and stuff. And then Chunauti happened. And then after Chunauti also, I I remember I begged my parents and my brother who's much older than me. I got him involved. He was already in medical college and hmm. everything, and um, I got him involved. I said, "You have to do make this happen for me," <laughs> you know. So, uh, so then he also he and my elder sister convinced, kind of convinced my parents, and I had to promise my parents that I won't do anything. This is it. Then I'll concentrate on my board exams and all, and yeah. I'll be very, you know. Uh, but of course, one thing led to another. Then I started getting modeling offers, and I yeah. started getting film offers. So when yeah. film offers came, my parents were like, "No chance." Our daughter cannot be in the movies, and you know those days they had very false and wrong notions. Of course, it's mm. a different world, so we had no idea. Correct. Like now, there's so much exposure; people know what's going on. Those times, it was all like one dark, you know, mysterious yeah. web uh, yeah. of yeah. what yeah. is in the film world and everything. So uh, I reached a stage where I said, "Listen, I'm not doing anything wrong. I have to do something." And I was already earning a lot of money yeah. through my modeling and everything. Sure. So uh, I took the chance, and of course, my elder sister, who was already married and stuff like that, at that time, by that time, uh, she supported me a lot. So she would keep sending me money. An aunt gave me a house to live in, you know, because they all also knew that my family is very strict. Yeah. So somewhere they were all very kind to me. Sure. But tell me about those three years. Were were they tough? Did you like have to, you know? I used to be so scared. To meet and I meet. Yeah. I told you, like I said, my sister would keep sending me money, hmm. and uh, you know, I stayed in an aunt's house. But that aunt's house, first I stayed with a with a friend in Breach Candy. Mm -hmm. Then her parents were also little conservative, so they started objecting. Mm. And uh, then I moved to an aunt's house in Marol, which Marola. was a shell. Yeah, uh. and I had never stayed like that in the suburbs and all. We are <laughs> all from you know Nepinsi Road ke bache. <laughs> so yeah, so it was very. But I was just in that. I I just felt that I'm not doing anything wrong, and this is what I want to do. Sure. And then of course my parents, you know, they started coming and telling me. It's okay. We forgive you. You please forgive us. Come yeah, back home yeah. and all that. So it's not like it was one crazy period. Yeah. It was uh, 
I mean, I think my mom and dad would just land up all the time saying, "Bacha, come back home, come back home." And I was like, "No, if you're continuing to have this attitude, I'm not going to come back home." You know. So then they were like, "Okay, do what you want, come back home." Huh. Yeah. So that's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. So, so I understand their point of view, and I think it, yeah. I needed to do that for them to understand my point of view. Are you like that with Kaveri now? Are you strict? I'm not strict. In fact, she tells me, "Mom, please, you have to be strict. All the other mothers are so strict, <laughs> and you, you, you're just yes for everything. You never say no." Yeah. But I think I'm because I'm the opposite of what I went through. I try to be the opposite kind of parent. I don't know if it's right or wrong. You're conscious about it. I'm very conscious of you know because I feel see, especially when you're an artist. you should not have your either art comes from extreme freedom or mm. it comes from extreme rebellion mm. like i think i came from rebellion i cannot have a halfway stand with her so i give her the freedom sure you know because i don't agree with norms and rules and i think every child every individual every every person has a right to do what they want to do to follow their own path and it is the job of parents and elders to support Sure, yeah. but being a friend of hers more than a mother yeah. has also been a result of being a single parent for a long time. Yes, so uh, yeah, because I uh, separated when she was so tiny and then yeah. divorced when she was so tiny. So uh, you know, it was very tough. And then, of course, uh, once she grew a little older, I was very clear that now I'm not an authority figure in your life. Mm. I want to be a friend. authority is over yeah. now i will support you i don't i will never impose on you hmm. you know so uh, sometimes she's actually tell me mom all the other mothers are not giving permission you are saying just go just go <laughs> so i said yeah but if you want me to say no i'll say no but yeah. i think it's okay if you go Correct. you know as parents you never know if you're getting it right or wrong yeah. you just have to do what you believe is appropriate at that moment sure yeah sure. did your and shekhar's equation affect her equation with shekhar kapoor see i was very conscious of uh, i was very always very keen that she has a relationship with her father mm -hmm. a lot of uh, uh, divorced parents don't allow that you know there are people who don't allow them to meet other parents they they separate them visits are uh, through court and all that and i yeah, have yeah. friends who been going through that so i always wanted her to have an equally strong relationship with her father mm. so that she does have she's very close to him but definitely the conflict between me and her father impacted her a lot yeah so that you know how much of a struggle you struggle to keep away from the child children sense things so but i think that definitely impacted her a lot but then how do you comfort the child then oh, i don't know i think now she's getting older so she tries to understand it better but there was a time when she said like listen and is you know also because her parents are well known so you know yeah. everything comes out in the papers and media and and uh, i've never hidden anything yeah so uh, so it does and so finally she said like listen you know i i love you i love dad what is between you all what court battles you all have what ego <laughs> battles you all have is between you all you leave me out of it so yeah. and see i think uh, there's no doubt that her dad loves her as much as i love her of and course. she loves me as much as she loves her dad yeah So in that sense I was very particular that she has a very strong relationship with her father. Yeah. In fact I kept encouraging it I kept encouraging it. Yeah. yeah. But like you mentioned you and him both are huge stars you know and especially you know I've grown up in 90s I've seen the kind of impact <laughs> yes. you all yeah. have had yeah. 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 on entertainment in general uh, is your equation with him okay now how are you all with each other? Yeah we're very cordial we're mm. fine. I mean see when you have a child together you yeah. have no choice. Yeah. You have to be cordial you have to be practical hmm. you have to it, because then it's no longer about how you feel it's about hmm. what's right for the child hmm. 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 yeah so it doesn't yeah. matter how i feel yeah. you know I, i what i feel is what's important for my child is the way i condition myself to feel so if i know that something is good for her then i will do that sure you know what kashmakash first or chunauti first kashmakash right no 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 chunauti chunauti was, was, was way first, first. Yeah, yeah right yeah. i had just done tens i had just done my 10 standard at that time right yeah yeah i was a kid how do you look back at that time today has tv changed a lot uh see those days for example so many years later yeah people still remember chunauti they sing the title song sometimes when i go to events and all yeah. do you remember the title song of any of the current shows or do you remember what is it? because there's so much clutter now there's so much clutter yeah. and this of course in a way it's good because it's giving so many 
you know opportunities to people in the earlier times to get your break was tough but once you got a break stardom was a given yeah you know yeah. the getting the break was tough now everybody gets a break now yeah. getting noticed and cutting above the clutter is the challenge yeah. you know so in those days luckily for me i didn't have to struggle because i remember i was in school and uh, i got called for this audition and i went and uh, they said photo dikhao and i took out my school id card i had no oh, idea sweet. when everybody else was taking out portfolio, portfolio pictures is, yeah so i said ha mere paas hai ye photo hai dekho ha. yeah so and i used to fall asleep on the sets and you know they were all so kind to me because i was so young you would be like sanjeev batacharya would be like ek shot de ke so ja sirf ek oh, you know sweet, so because ha. when when you're very young people are very very kind yeah 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 True. So and then Kashmakash was much later. Kashmakash was ninety four. Yeah, ninety four, ninety five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. even if all this rebel or whatever came your way, you've always taken it with a great sense of humor. Yeah. Even when you said, you know, I want to get married again, you said, you know, I want to get married to Ram Gopal Varma. Yeah. You know how? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's all in my play. It's very funny. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. In Drama Queen. Yeah. It was a series of very comical incidents that happened, <laughs> and then which I I made into you know a dramatic novel and all that, and I was just very lucky that they were all so fr- uh, sporting. So yeah. whether it's Ram Gopal Varma, Karan Johar, yeah. Ken, Nagesh, they all said, of course, of course, use our name, do it. You know uh. because. that those incidents actually happened but in not in exactly those yeah, ways yeah. you know so even with ram gopal varma it was like what are you up to so i was literally like nothing ya yeah. marry me na you know uh-huh. and that's how it went so it's not yeah. like i was desperate and of course and then uh, so and then of course the, these lines that he said about you know women and all he says in every interview and all that so it's not something he said exclusively to yeah, me yeah. but what so they were all very sporting and uh, so i i got great literature from some very comical yeah, events in yeah. my life and i like to laugh but you really need a companion sometimes like a shoulder to cry on talk to someone why didn't you pursue it at that point in time i don't know first of all i was a s- single parent so i mm. think i was very very conscious of the fact that i don't want uh, something frivolous and you know something that's not appropriate because see whatever you say however rebellious and modern i am somewhere even i am very proper and conservative in certain aspects of my life i'm like? not no in terms of you know i have i've had friends who've changed boyfriends every 6 months and everything hmm. i met my husband as ex husband as as a teenager and um, you know post my divorce i had one relationship that lasted one year which hmm. nobody knows about thankfully <laughs> but um, but that's it i'm not i've been very conservative in how i share my energies in the world mm-hmm. so uh, and i was just very particular that i won't expose kaveri to that you know now of course she's big so mm-hmm. she in fact put me on a dating site sometime back. she did oh, yeah <laughs> oh wow so and i had to promise her i said okay okay then i got so bored i was like bachcha this is not my scene <laughs> <laughs> she registered my name and she put my profile and everything and um then she insisted that i go on a few dates and then i realized it's not my scene i just got so like so much pressure you know <laughs> yeah. and it's such a waste of time if you don't like something yeah. or somebody of course if you, unless you give yourself that chance you don't know but then i was like bachcha for you i did it yeah. now i can't do it i'm fine on my own but it will like swipe right swipe left a lot on it yeah yeah i did yeah. i did all that you went on the dates also yeah yeah i How did i went on at least 4 5 days so a few of them have become friends of mine now wow yeah i friend zoned all of them <laughs> and uh, so yeah so we are in touch and everything and uh, it's see first of all i think for me to even do that yeah. i feel very proud because i had to overcome so much conditioning of my own correct ki why should i do this so cheap so stupid you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, these yeah, things yeah. so when i did it I felt like it's good yeah oh, open your mind mm. open yourself to new things and no there's no pride no shame yeah. you know and then see what works what doesn't work so. but you're a public figure didn't that worry you i mean did people see oh suchitra krishna no no Kishan. initially she, because she put very innocently my own photo uh-huh. around then we distorted it and then i put my pet name that uh-huh. she put my pet name we distorted the photo so nobody could make out no no so first when she first put my photo it was like ha ah, How was it like working with Shahrukh Khan? Oh so God. you are Mrs. Shekhar Kapoor. You know that kind of nonsense goes on. So I was like, Oh God, where have I reached? But then, of course, we changed it. And then, yeah. for me, for I actually thought I'll use this as a experience to write a book or a story or you know something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I actually was using it at that 
at like that for a while and then of course yeah. lockdown and everything changed everything yeah. but you did that like are you writing something these are great i think i would like to read yes that. so yeah. yes i have the idea now i have to just put it down you think you've got your due as an actor no but i think that's all my own doing because i've been so whimsical and so um, sometimes like i've been kabhi ha kabhi na in my career right mm-hmm. so sometimes i wanted to do it sometimes i not wanted to do it there were times when i was getting like i think 2013 to 15 or so i was getting some fantastic roles hmm. but in those days i was busy with my candle company and i was in yeah. that yeah so i was like no sorry i can't and then those films went on to do very i won't take the name and because yeah. those actors also it's not fair but they went on to win some awards those those actresses went on to win best actor and all that i'm like ha mujhe karna tha ha so that one of those directors who waited for me for two months he's like tu karte kyun nahi karte kyun nahi i'm like nahi yaar maine abhi shuru kiya hai ye and all. so i've been very whimsical yeah. so you know uh, so i don't blame anybody yeah. but definitely i I, and I don't mean to boast, but I I I think I have a lot of talent Who as an actor. Who is the director? Manish oh. Gupta. Oh. Ah, so uh, yeah, so these things happen. Yeah. But so now when I call him and I'm like, "Arey, I'm bored. Yeah, let's do something." He's like, "But I don't have any subject now. That time I had in which you fit in. Now <laughs> yeah. you don't. You know. So that's how it works. So when opportunities are coming, I tell Kaveri also. Yeah. I'm like, don't think too much. Just करते रहो, करते रहो. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. that's very important. But why not taking a model? Do na, please. But I'm not getting good offers. I'm I'm Even not now? joking. Even now, I get like all this typical mother stuff and also I just you know it, there's nothing wrong with being a mother mm. and I am a mother of a yeah, born yeah. kid and I'm very proud of it. But on screen, I need to do something like I feel that that's worthy of you know my time and my um, interest. You think you're putting yourself out enough for no. getting roles? No. Right. In fact, uh, when uh, the only time I actually did it was when Kaveri left for college, hmm. and I got I went into severe depression and I got really panicky and I started calling up all my friends and said saying that listen, I'm going to die of depression if I don't get out of the house and start doing something. So and then of course lockdown happened and yeah. everything. So but that was the only time I've actually done it. Sure. So you are a very very valued artist, uh, Suchitra. I just feel you don't value yourself enough. Yes, you're totally right. it's you're totally right because you know when i wherever i go even through my social media everything i realize that people hold me in such high esteem and i have always treated myself so casually not yeah. giving myself that bow i've always put everybody else before me yeah. you know i've always kind of undermined myself underplayed myself except in my personality which then sure. when i'm talking it comes out but in terms of my career you know first i was fighting my parents who didn't want me to do something then i was fighting my husband who also didn't want me to act and you know oh really yeah yeah totally which is why i completely gave up acting oh yeah. i thought he was encouraging of it no so so then you know so i've always been like are chalo it's not not such a big deal then i'll do something else you know what i'm saying yeah. Now I realize that what the hell? Why should somebody object to you doing something? You know, exactly. It's a, it's a very patriarchal mindset, but there's too, been too much water under the bridge now. Mm-hmm. But that's the reason I quit after my debut movie, which was yes. a, such like Huge. a super duper hit. Yeah. Yeah. So th- th- that was the reason I quit. I continued with my music <laughs> yeah. because that wasn't so such an issue or so threatening. But yeah, with acting, mm. it was very clear. Sure. Do and in retrospect i feel what the hell but at that point i was like ha ah, theek hai hota hai even right now when you're talking to me in my head it's like what the hell yeah do you still fondly look at kabhi ha kabhi na i'm never allowed to forget it so of course yeah. i have to uh-huh. i'm reminded of it every single day yeah. in my life so i have very fond memories of it of course i do yeah. but i don't have such clear because for me see i did it it was over and then so much happened after that correct but not in the, the public i I think that is their main memory of me. Yeah. So, but are you like still in touch with Shah Rukh Khan? No, no, not really. Mm. I mean, our kids used to go to the same school and mm. stuff like that, and then we were neighbors in London for a while. But oh, okay. yeah, sure. Not really. What's your fondest memory from the set? I have so many memories from the set. In fact, I spoke about it this time in the anniversary of Kamiya Kamiya Nath because. Yeah. Shutapa, who did our costumes for Kabhi Ha Kabhi Na? Shutapa Sikdar. Yeah. Irfan Khan's wife. Yeah, so Irfan used to hang around our set like he had career not taken off. Mm-hmm. 
so he used to be this brooding very sad looking guy on the set yeah. we used to all wonder about him yeah but i have some i have some interesting uh, memories of kabhi ha kabhi na but like i said it was very long ago another passion that you have is painting and we can see it all around yeah. it's here this is yeah even house. all this mosaic work is mine by the way i cut my own glass tile and wow yeah yeah so i do a lot of and this is very physically very like laborious and hard work yeah. there are times when i get cut and all that and wo josh mein i don't feel it and then i come home and i'm like oh shit i have a cut on my leg or cut in my hand hmm. but i love all this sure. yeah yeah you remember your first painting this one yeah oh. there, there was a buddha before this and this i did it on the same day so i've never sold this it looks like an elephant yeah it's a it's like a procession i called it a pilgrimage oh yeah what was the inspiration exactly i did these all in a josh yeah uh huh yeah so the in fact the first week i remember i first two weeks i painted some 74 76 paintings or something it was like it was coming out like in God. the lockdown no 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 this was like years 15 back. years uh -huh. this was almost 15 years ago oh wow and so i the same day the first day i started and uh, this was it and then i had done a buddha simultaneously abstract art or more of no, defined i do mostly if you see it's all very abstract mm -hmm. yeah there's a saying in a business i scratch your back you scratch mine has that been problematic for you no i see it depends on how you interpret it how you uh, you know uh if if you're talking about it in terms of the casting couch and all that of course i've never succumbed no, no, to it no. yeah but otherwise you know it's also a way of you support somebody they support you hmm. you do something for somebody they give you back it's like somebody calls you home for dinner you call them back yeah what is wrong with it yeah you know ultimately we are people we live in a community whether it's a community of artists or whatever so there is nothing wrong in helping and facilitating and making each other's lives better hmm. in my view hmm. you know so, so any time anybody calls me and asks me i will not suppose somebody tells me hey can you put up this post i need this support i will not expect anything back hmm. for me it's not like a condition but if they do it it's great now yeah. why not yeah. so similarly if i can do something for somebody i'll do it why sure. not and if i can you know ask them in future saying hey can you do this for me I I see nothing wrong with it. Sure. But then one time your agent told you to attend Karan Johar parties to get work. Yeah, yeah, but that is stupid. <laughs> you know, that is see that is that is different. That is like see if I was a youngster starting out, I could still understand it because mm -hmm. everything ultimately is posture, right? But to tell me so senior and so been there done that. Correct. matlab i think i was the first one of the first indians to go to the oscars yeah. so jo correct yeah yeah so you are telling me that i have to be seen at parties uh -huh. now for me it was inappropriate but uh, i i see nothing wrong in uh, helping and facilitating and making everybody's lives better I so agree. yeah so uh, you can give it a negative connotation or you can give it a positive connotation it's up to you hmm. What's happening on the work front uh, next? I know you're doing a series called Brave Hearts. I just did one episode. See, mm -hmm. it's an anthology that's honoring um, the martyrs mm -hmm. uh, from the army and stuff. So I found it very moving. I found the story they sent sure. me very moving. And uh, though I had made up my mind, I'll never do mother roles. Huh. This one was the mother of a young girl who was going to whose father's martyred. Uh -huh. and she wants to join the army and the conflict in the family so i found the whole thing that it's like a tribute mm -hmm. to our armed forces and also i i found it very inspiring and very touching so i said chalo i'd like to be a part of this sure. but it's just everybody has just done one one episode sure yeah sure. and very well researched and you know their their attention to detail and all was i was quite impressed by it yeah sure sure Uh, anything else that's in the pipeline i'm doing this very interesting project called mudgaon the closed file that uh. is with um, and uh, after a long time i got offered something so interesting i'll tell you an interesting story so when the director kapil uh, kostup sharma uh. he offered me the part and uh, so he gave me the script he read it and he said i want you to be samantha so i read it and you know samantha is this seductress and she's uh. like she's got two men <laughs> so i was like you know why have you offered me this role uh -huh. please in my head i'm like you know so totally out of all this hmm. 
so he was he just started laughing and he said suchitra how you see yourself na yeah. is not how the world sees you yeah. like i think you can be this person and you are this person and mm. you you know so then i said okay then if you know he thinks i can do it then i can do it mm. and i have had such fun doing it for me to even get get in touch with feeling beautiful and attractive again it, i haven't felt that way for a long time you people feel surprised when i say that but you know what i'm saying it's like you've been out of that space for so long and yeah. suddenly you know you're playing that person and you're being that person so i really enjoyed it and it's a very good team yeah so i really want to insist please do more work okay i uh, after this interview i'm <laughs> sure i'll get flooded by you <laughs> please, know with some fantastic or no it's not like i don't want to do see hmm. i want to do but either it's i'm not getting the kind of stuff i want then sometimes like i said you know I at times they when i've said no mm-hmm. it's gone on to be this be something very good then sometimes something i've been excited about but it's not worked out yeah so these things happen sure so what do you do but thank you so much thank you this was a lovely conversation yes. and um, you know like i said i can't wait to see everything you're doing in the future thank you thank you so thank much thank you so much hi this is suchitra krishnamurthy and if you like this video and this interview please like subscribe and share pink villa it is